So today we're gonna to be talking about how to spot short squeezes. There's a very few isolated things that we look for. And what's great about these short squeezes is they create the greatest trade opportunities. I mean, especially if you're, well, I mean, listen, I don't care if you're trading a big account. If you got a big account, you like big profits, right? But the thing is, especially with a small account, you gotta catch those biggest movers of the day and nothing goes 100%, 200%, 500%, 1,000%, we saw a 3,000% runner the other day. I mean, these stocks don't move like that without short, short squeezes, okay? And short sellers are great because they act as an accelerant. It's like that gasoline on the fire, as they say. So that being said, be sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell. Join me on all these videos. We go over live short squeezes. We go over the stocks of the day, the stocks of the week. Be sure to subscribe and be notified as soon as we drop a new video. So what do we look for? in a short squeeze and, and, and how do we maximize our potential for finding them? Number one, lower the float, the better, okay? Um, I won't get too technical on these videos. Understand we have an amazing channel of all kinds of stuff, but um, if, you, if I do mention any jargon or terms you don't necessarily get, remember, take advantage of the archive. But the float, just very uh, quickly, are the freely tradable shares. At the end of the day, the float is the supply, okay? If you're selling oranges, okay, you got a thousand oranges, the float is the thousand oranges. That's the maximum amount that can be traded for the apples, okay? You got your buddy with the apples, okay? So that's the maximum that can be traded. Why do we care about low float? Why do we want lower float? Basic supply and demand, okay? Remember, a lot of people overlook this, but the stock market is a market. That's why it is a called the stock market market okay and what do you do you exchange goods in a market and if go back to your high school economics class what's the first rule you learn supply and demand okay higher the supply lower the demand lower the price okay lower the supply higher the demand higher the price okay concert tickets i mean are a great example there's a concert tickets are actually really good for like a low float stock because there's only 30,000 tickets. That's it. There's never going to be more. There never, never is going to be any more than 30,000, but there might be a hundred thousand people that want the ticket to that concert in that city. Maybe there's a million people that want them. Okay. There's limited supply, never going to be more supply, but there's a lot of people that want it. That's why we like low float stocks. So the parameter we look for, less than 10 million. That's a good number. Now lower is the better. I remember ADTX the other day, um, I did a, a three days of webinars and they joked because I, I, if I remember it was an 800,000 float stock and people on the webinars were like doing tick marks for every time I would scream 800,000 float. Now the reason they were joking about it, a lot of people did really well on the trade, but there, I just kept bringing it up, 800,000 float, 800,000 float, because that was so significant. I mean, that is micro, micro float. Thing traded like 8 million shares that day, an incredible multi-day run. And that's what we love about these short squeezes is they create multi-day moves. And many of you are busy, many of you a lot going on, and, and I, I, I get frustrated sometimes because people fall in the fallacy of thinking they have to get day one of the move. Gotta get day one, gotta get day one, gotta get that gapper. No, I think the best short squeezes and even the best trading opportunities are multi-day moves, okay? And when you've got that float rotation, when you've got trapped short sellers, typically the day two, day three, day four, day five are the parabolic move, the biggest move. And that's the best time to hammer these stocks. So get out of that mindset of having to nail it on day one, day two, day three better. The longer the squeeze goes on, the more likely you are to have a better parabolic candle and the more likely you can have a better potential gain. The other thing we love to see is some sort of news, okay? Now, very, when we're talking $2 low float stocks, news can be very dubious, okay? We just want some sort of catalyst because we know algos trade catalysts, okay, algos look for headlines. We know many, many uninformed traders believe these press releases, so don't ever believe them, okay? Listen, any penny stock, don't fall for it, okay? Trade the catalyst, recognize that press releases and contracts and 
partnerships and, and patents move the stock but never believe okay so that that increases our likelihood because number one just people will, will buy because they'll so many people won't watch this video and they'll believe the press release and they'll think the two dollar stock is going to 100. it creates fuel now the vice versa and this might be kind of confusing the more dubious the press release, the more likely it is to attract short sellers, and justifiably so. I mean, if it's one of those classic penny stock peer, uh, press releases where it's as vague as can be, they're like, we have par partnered with a large uh, industry leader, you know, they don't name the partner, for a contract that could be worth up to millions of dollars, okay? Up to, no terms. Uh, we hope to deliver in 2025, you know, vague timelines, no dollar amounts, don't name the partner. That stuff attracts short sellers and we trade the chart patterns, okay? So if shorts pile in and we get a dip and rip or we get a late day VWAP hold, we can smoke those shorts and they create that, again, that gasoline on the fire, that accelerant. So it's the best way to find them. I mean, really just run those low float scans and get stocks to trade, okay? We have built-in low float scans. I also have some custom scans that you can get access to on Stocks to Trade University. Matt Monaco just did another low float scan the other day. Very simple scans, finding the best multi-day short squeeze float rotators with all with one click. I mean, typically there's only one or two of them in play. You don't have to sit there and look at all 15,000 stocks. You run this scan and you're like, oh, hey, look at this. ADTX is 800,000 floater that's up three days in a row, trading unusual volume. Uh, oh, and here, look, there's the catalyst from a couple days ago. Don't overcomplicate things. And especially, you know, listen, if you're very busy, you can't trade every day, maybe you're under the PDT, you can only day trade here and there. These are the focus. They have to be the focus. Ignore the high price stuff. Ignore the, ignore the true penny stocks. The massive majority of them fail. You love that two to 10 low float catalyst driven unusual volume box checker as I say. Okay. Now if you want to know the boxes, what are the boxes? Check out Stocks to Trade Live. Click that link below. 100% free, 100% live, four times a day and on weekends. Okay especially on the ones outside the market order or the market hours, we get real in depth on the worksheets, actually fill those worksheets out and get into the process. And most of the time, you know, a lot of people, I just tell them, hey, screenshot the worksheet on this live webinar. You can screenshot it, print it out, use it that day. Check out Stocks Trade Live. We'd love to see you on a webinar.